The Diagnostic Station DS20 is an ECG, Diagnostic Spirometer, and Vital Signs unit designed for adult and pediatric use. With its high-resolution 19-inch touchscreen, it allows for comprehensive vital data measurements. On the lateral side, we can observe the connections for the parameters. We have the NIPP port, the connection for the standard ECG for 3 to 5 leads, the connection for the 10-wire ECG, SpO2, temperature, and two USBs that can be used for memory, mouse, or keyboard. On the back panel, there are four more USB ports, the serial in and out ports, the RS-232 port for the spirometry sensor, the Ethernet network connector, and the mains connector. To switch the unit on, press the on button on the top left side of the unit. The home screen is the first screen displayed once the unit has been switched on. To input the patient information, press patient. Once all the demographics are filled out, press OK to be redirected back to the main screen. On the top of the screen, the patient's name can now be observed. The top right of the screen indicates battery and network state. When selecting vital signs, all of the patient's parameter information will be displayed. Values are only displayed when the ECG cable or at least one sensor is connected. The screen will vary according to the cables connected the license options, and the system and user settings defined. Up to three waveforms can be viewed in the waveform area. To display the settings for the waveform, tap anywhere in the area. These settings allow you to configure what parameters will be visualized as waveforms, and the option to turn a waveform off is also available. Below the waveform area is the blood pressure. By tapping on the blood pressure area, the settings for NIBP open. Here you can set the blood pressure measurements to be manual or automatic, and adjust the low, medium, and high values. To take a manual blood pressure measurement, select the initial systolic number and the measurement will begin. On the right are the numerical values of the parameters. In order to display the setting available for each parameter, simply tap that area and the setting screen will open. By tapping the snapshot button, a snapshot of the current measurements can be taken at any time. After confirmation, the snapshot is saved and can be viewed in the Trends screen. The preview function will generate a report that can be saved or sent to the printer. The Save button will save a record to the local database. The Record function is for the thermal printer only. By tapping the Record button, a printout of the current real-time data can be obtained to generate a chart recording. The data to be printed is defined in the setup. The DS20 records up to 72 hours of trend data. The trend values are displayed at the user-defined interval and additionally after every manual NIBP measurement. The display for the trend table can be selected for intervals or saved snapshots. A resting ECG can be recorded as long as the 10-wire ECG cable is connected. A resting ECG is not possible with a standard ECG cable. Tap Analyze to begin with the resting ECG and press Save to store the resting ECG recording. The Save button will save a record to the local database and will also send the record to the Schiller server automatically if it is set to automatic transmission. The spirometry can be used when the SP250 sensor is plugged in. In order to obtain correct predicted values and diagnosis, it is important that all patient data is entered correctly, in particular gender, date of birth, ethnicity, height, and weight. On the bottom of the patient screen, the type of pulmonary function test that will be performed can be selected. Tap the Start button and take the test. The breakoff point for the expiration measurement is reached automatically or the stop key is pressed when the test is finalized. Repeat each test as many times as required. Post tests are performed to check the effect of medications or other factors on the patient. These tests are performed the same way as pretests. Press Start to begin and stop when finished. Afterwards, the results of the pre and post tests are compared. The DS20 can display and store up to five pre and five post tests. The normal standard used for the interpretation and the interpretation statement is given on the bottom of the screen along with the quality of measurements on a scale from A to E. Tap the Save button to save the spirometry recording. A resting rhythm recording can be made with either the standard 3-5 wire cable or a 10-wire cable. Enter or edit the patient data as required and tap the Perform button to enter the Resting Rhythm Acquisition screen. Tap the Preview button to display the Resting Rhythm recording and select Save to save the resting recording. 
Tap the Database button to display the database screen and options. The database function enables recordings to be stored for later view and has a limit of 100 records. Tap the Filter button to display the filter options at the top of the database screen. The Work List function enables a doctor or administrator to define a work list of patients that require recordings to be made. It is defined directly from the hospital information system, and after the recording has been made by the DS-20, they are sent back to his for examination, validation, and storage. Tap the Update button to refresh the work list and display all relevant patients. In order to discharge a patient, tap the Discharge button on the top of the screen and confirm to discharge the patient. The DS-20 can go into standby mode in which the measurements are suspended and the vital signs are no longer being displayed or collected. In standby mode and power save mode, measurements are temporarily interrupted but the confirmed patient information is saved. Both modes can be set to be entered automatically after a user-defined time of inactivity.